nice little evening trip out on the store. This time, Mr. Roberto's back with me. It's been a while. Back again. <laughs> it's been a while. He's been doing a lot of beach fishing just lately, so he hasn't been available. He's been doing all right. We might go and do a little bit of um, soul fishing one night as well, um, which we'll probably do a little video of. But we decided to come down the store for a little evening, just to, like I say, just a little short session, because it's a school night. But the birds we've just seen absolutely smashing the water over there. So we're going to try and start our drift. Yeah, on this nice little slick line out there. So we're going to we're going to set up a drift over there, and then um, I think the speed that we're nearly slack water. So high water is about ten past seven. So we're nearly at that. So we're going to just sort of start our drift, and hopefully it'll just take us slowly with the little breeze areas. And that should take us down through them. Um, we have got a couple of lures on, but we might just try the worm drift through there, and then when we get to them, we may chuck a couple of lures out on them as well. So, well, that's our first one we're into. Rob just lost one, but that one is a what we got. She's 42, 42 centimeters, but that little baby's going back. We're after bigger ones than that. Bigger ones. The bigger ones. Tonight. Right, so we're set up our drift. We're sort of aiming right towards, I don't know if you can see them in the background, but them birds are smashing it over there. So we've set our drift up so we can just sort of drift into them quietly and see what we can do. So we are moving, well, see I've gone hit slack walker now, so we're not really drifting as fast as I'd like to. We're sort of at slack, but the wind is pushing us slowly, which is not a bad thing. I'm not moving just under a knot will just take us in there slowly instead of powering our engine right into through them and sort of messing it up so if we can sort of get there we'll hardly be moving that'll be like we're at anchor there but we're sort of just moving enough to get them worms moving hopefully we'll get a smash on one of these rob's posed waiting it won't be though <laughs> he's got to talk them in that's what happens normally come on any can any time <laughs> Let's see how we get on. Look at these birds working. When I get closer, I'll get a lure out, but they are smashing into the water. <laughs> They're going nuts. On the lures, as always, we're right in amongst the birds and they're smashing them. They're going it's crazy. Literally, one a chuck. We will bring you back if we get a big one. Change his lure straight away. Change every one of my little blades. Unfortunately, I can't film it because I haven't got my filming gear, so it's gonna, like, literally, I can't film my stuff at the same time. This is all on my phone. Little rotating blade that I had, look. Bang, straight in. Now drifting us into there. Get yourself ready, Roberto. I don't think it'll be, I reckon it'll be absolutely instant into a fish. I'm gonna get us, hopefully, into this shallow. <laughs> I'm gonna get us into the shallow. Look at that. Like, we're gonna be right amongst them. I reckon Rob's going to get into a fish straight away. I'm literally going to chuck myself right in there because we're hardly moving. He's going to be quite shallow here. But I tell you what, these fish are going... Oh, fish! I'll tell you what, these, these birds are going absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. All right, let's have a go. Let's see if Rob can get one instantly. I'm going to get him into the area. We're right amongst the birds. I they're literally diving all around us. It's crazy. I'll turn that engine off and spin us round. And we'll get a lure in the water. I can't film it, unfortunately. I just can't film everything at the same time. I was just hoping to see if Rob would get one straight away. Come on, Rob. Don't let the side down. We need an instant fish. We're amongst we're amongst the birds. The bird, there's fish on the sound up. Look, fish are going nuts on the sound up. Birds are diving all around us. There's some people took a couple of ribs over there. There's fish jumping out everywhere. Can I Bang! Do Told you it works. Little, but where well, there's little ones, there's big ones. They're here. Gav cast out straight away. Bam! <laughs> there you go. Ain't too bad. They're getting well. Getting bigger. We just need to find a big one. But yeah, they're here. Keep it going. We'll keep it going. Brilliant. We'll get bigger. We got it. There they are over there. Come on. <laughs> it's beautiful out here. Actually, look at them. They're going crazy. The Stour is an absolutely alive tonight. You just keep watching, there'll be fish jumping out all around us. 
it is alive the birds are going absolutely crazy we're getting chuck one a chuck on lures look boom smashing all boom fish jumping it is mental look at that sun see that in the background it is beautiful out here i mean we're getting smashed on lures we've just tried to put the worm out now just to see because we are getting live things but we're getting loads of small ones with the lures but there's plenty of fish up in the water i'm just going to turn my engine to drift me the way i want to go we're not moving very fast we're literally 0.6 of a knot so it's almost like being at anchor but that's getting us enough to explore the areas but it's just lovely out here what an evening well we've decided to anchor up now into a little spot where we've been we had too much fun on them flipping lures and that was mad but we were getting such small fish um, obviously we had the little 42 centimeter straight away and that was on um, worm so yeah we're gonna try and sit down now and relax in the little bay that we often sort of come to just down the store we'll sit on with these and see how we get on Rob's just had a couple of knocks already but I think I stole his worm so yeah, little, ones, I think, mate. little ones but we'll sit here give it a go for a little while it's quite a shallow ground this bit but and we have been fishing a lot deeper waters when I've been out with Ed and stuff but I'm just gonna see give it a and go. bang anchor on the worm it's like that. every method works we're getting them on the lures we're getting them on the worm monster <laughs> A little one. This river is absolutely alive tonight. I bloody love the star. Oh, hey, hold on. Might not be as bad as you think. Oh, oh, I've got a bite now. There we go, let live bite. Live bite, live bite. He's definitely interested there. He's off. He's off. Want a keeper? There we go, live bite, bob, 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 bob. Have it, take it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Swallow it. Eat my worm. Sometimes you have to be a bit patient with these things because they hit it and they don't take it, they get little finicky bites like this. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, take it over, yeah. all of a sudden they'll go with it. It's like they're all trying to come in and hit it. You got by another one? Yeah. Oh, there's fish here, peoples. Had them on anchor, had them on lures. They're everywhere. Patience. And the bloody other rod started going. Oh, both of them are going to go in a minute. There's a lot of fish here. There is a lot of fish. Hell of a lot of fish. We've got both rods wanting them to go. I reckon it might be a little schooly on that. in again loving the worm they're loving the worm there must be millions of fish down here absolutely millions Million. just got to be a big one amongst them i even count i would love to count how many fish we've bloody had i should land for it i think rob might have got it that just took lovely hell of a bite no don't <laughs> do you want me to get it in that's definitely a better fish that's coming up on the surface already be perfect i could get the new net out things we might want a longer reach might we nothing like a good old long reach yeah. good old long reach i had to get a new net but broke another one these are all the bloody fish you're catching i reckon oh my god it's all tangled that's taking line isn't it yeah, do, so. do a number on this one it's got to be a bit of fish surely Hooked in the face. Uh, <laughs> hooked in the face. Oh, you got my line as well, but here it is. Well, so that's a keeper, I reckon. Yeah, that's a good fish, Rob. There we go. That's still like, I don't know how big it is. It's probably over. Borderline. It's borderline. It's over 42. Or it might be just on 42. You definitely did say you wanted one for the dinner table, though, didn't you? Yes. Rob's, oh, miss one, but... Rob's missing eating bass. Yeah, I'm eating vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Did it come oh. It, oh, Rob, Rob, both rods. Your one's off, my one's off. Oh, Rob, Rob. 
Hold on. Get your fish sorted out. <laughs> Bites are going. What have we got? What have we got? Oh, that's bigger than that's 44. That's 44, Rob. Isn't it? Uh, yeah, he's capable. Yeah. What do you want to do? You want to take one for the dinner? Yeah, I want one for dinner. Yeah, we'll take it for dinner, mate. It's what we're here for. Both right, Rob's rod's gone. I'm in on this one. He's on in that one. I'm going to bring you back when we actually see the fish, but I can't. We're trying I've to got to explain this a little bit. So Rob's other road went, and I was messing about trying to film, and then I, I said, oh, no, it's come off, because I was trying to get the camera, and then all of a sudden, my rod tore off, and Rob just got his in, let me flick that around. That's a 45 to 46. Yeah, 45 to 46. So that's his fish. <laughs> and once again, it's a double hook up like we do. There's another one there, I'll get it unhooked. Oh God, that hook's right there. I can't, I need to get it unhooked actually. Can we hold the camera? Yeah, go on, mate. Just let me get the fish. Where's it? I'll tell you what, what I'll do. I don't normally use the towel, but saving bloody spine of me just because he's lit. Yeah, sharp, isn't he's only lipped in there, so. But every time, always say, as soon as that twilight hour come. That's about <laughs> What was yours, Rob? 45, I think. 45 I think to 46. They're the same, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, look. Other matches. 46. So, oh, God, you little bugger. Couple of. <laughs> I'll put couple, my. <laughs> couple of 46 centimetres. There we go. Happy days. Lovely, jubbly. That's how we roll. <laughs> you want some bass? Yes, yeah, please. Well, I missed the take. So, obviously, we've lost light now. But that was our last cast saloon. We said, look, we'll put last worm on. And he's done it. Got one. That's screened off. There we go. Hold well on, mate. Yeah, another nice fish. Yeah, lovely. lovely. I don't know what sort of size it is, but I'm pretty sure that's a, well, Christ, that's a little number 46 to me, Rob. I'll let you measure it. It'll look, another 46 to me. 46. 46, <laughs> hey, see? We can guess yeah. these fish now. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Oh. My rod's off. <laughs> it's darkness, I tell you, these bass love the darkness. But anyway, that is pretty much the end of our night. If this rod goes, that it might go. Rob's took a couple for the table, so he's going to take them. Well, I've, I've probably got one as well, so we've took them and we'll eat them because that is what it's all about. Decent size eaters, so get yeah, a nice sort of you can either do the whole fish or do a third. Oh, I thought that was really going to go then. Yeah. Good, good take as well. It's a bit like what Rob's just done, which we missed. Good bite, nice little fight. Anyway, that was good. Lovely little evening again. I just oh, the sun's still there, isn't there? Come back for it. It's coming back for it. I think Rob's gonna dispatch his fish. Go on, that's off, isn't it? That's oh god, god, I don't think it's as big as yours over there, isn't it? Oh, I don't know if I have got that. I can't. I'm trying to strike with a camera in my hand. I don't know if I got it, mate. I think I missed it. I reckon I did. That ball can come in. Is it still there or not? No, I don't think so. He didn't want that. He's probably stole me worm, so this ball can come in. Getting to that time. Yeah. What do I say? Oh, he put me in my weed stuff. <laughs> Ditched you in the weed. That's not bad. What do we do? Uh, two 42s, three 46s. Yeah, and then shit loads. Sorry, excuse my language. Lo yeah. Loads of. And a load of little schoolies, schoolies on the lures. So, once again, another good session, if you ask me. Stu is a lovely place to fish. Brilliant. And we'll see you next time. Till next time. Adios. Adios.